the only way those supplies can be provided in time is through the full mobilization of the United States military. <laughs> Alright, so all these video clips are surfacing of the U.S. military all throughout the states. The military in New York. The tanks on a train in San Diego. So don't believe everything that you see or hear because some of these posts turn out to be fake and actually clips are actually fake as well. So these two videos stating that the military is in New York City was posted not only on YouTube but also Twitter. So that clip stating that the National Guard military is in New York City but then I did some research and check it out. See, posted 2014. And this clip here. Shame on these people. Shame on you. And I'm just educating all of you that don't always believe everything that you see in here because, you know, a lot of it might actually be fake. And I just prove that these two clips are actually fake. Why would these people even bother going through the trouble of finding old clips and then trying to re-edit and upload them and then state that that's what's happening today? Shame on you. This is the thing, though, is that states across America are asking for Trump to release military and army aid. It is immoral that our president has not ordered our military to full mobilization. Our military is the only answer at this point. There's only one organization that can guarantee that, and that is the United States military. So that was the mayor of New York demanding that Trump actually releases the military powers and the army across the states, not only in New York, but across all the different states and other states are actually demanding as well. So those other clips are actually fake, but from what I understand, this one's actually authentic. And that's a clip of a train delivering all these tanks into San Diego. I tried to research it and I couldn't find any other clips of it, so I believe that one is 100% real and authentic. But the other ones are fake. I don't know why people would go through the trouble in doing that and faking clips when eventually this is going to happen everywhere. Like, I'm telling you and educating you all, it's bound to happen. This is going to happen everywhere all across the world. It happened in China, it happened in Italy, it happened in other countries. It's going to happen in the States, it's going to happen in Canada. It's just bound to happen. It's just inevitable. So anyways, I hope you all learned something and I educated you. Don't believe everything that you see that's posted on Twitter or YouTube. And if you see fake news and you can actually confirm that it's fake, you might as well report it because they're actually saying people are actually being charged for posting fake news, which is crazy. That's why when I post stuff, I try to actually research it and find actual sources and actual news pieces and stuff like that. Even if actual media isn't reporting about it, there's other things that's buried that the, the mainstream media is not going to report. So if you all can do me a favor, comment down below with your opinion on this subject about people posting fake videos and taking other clips and what's going to happen when these, like, you know, like martial law is declared and the military is deployed across the states because it is going to happen. And uh, yeah, like this video and subscribe. It only takes two seconds and I really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. So get ready, everyone. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. God bless and peace out.